To the town of Austin, Texas, drove a stranger one fine day. She was looking for employment so that she could earn some pay. Wasn't looking for no trouble as she found herself adrift, even willing to work Christmas Eve or on the graveyard shift. On the graveyard shift. Her previous employer said they had to let her go. She had killed one of her customers with just a single blow. He had stepped behind the counter and was acting like a dick. It was clearly self-defense, they couldn't make the charges stick. Make the charges stick. It was getting toward the evening, so she did a quick survey. There was Taco Bell, a Starbucks, a McDonald's, Chick-fil-A. Then she spied the yellow building near a rundown shopping strip. So she stepped out and she strapped her waffle iron to her hip. Iron to her hip. At the Waffle House, the manager asked, are you qualified? So she cracked eggs with one hand and made some scrambled and some fried. She made hash browns scattered smothered and she gave them one last turn. Then she topped them with Bert's chili just to give them all heartburn. She gave them all heartburn. Well, she got the job and started work right then on Christmas night. Told herself she would not join in any argument or fight. When a rowdy crowd that entered started giving her some lip, she found it hard to keep that waffle iron from her grip. Iron from her grip. As the evening was progressing, the harassment wouldn't stop. Then a customer decided to jump on the countertop. Such a very bad decision on this night of Christmas Eve. Our hero started punching her and yanking out her weave. Yanking out her weave. At this point in our story is just when they grabbed the chair. As they yeeted it, it gracefully rotated through the air. But she switched to bullet time as if she was Keanu Reeves. She deflected it and then resumed with yanking out their weaves. Yanking out their weaves. You should never underestimate a line cook worker's clout. It turns out they fucked around too much and then they all found out. Oh, they could have eaten waffles, but they made one final slip when they tried to match the line cook with the big iron on her hip. Waffle iron on her hip. Big iron, waffle iron. When they tried to match the line cook with the big iron on her hip, waffle iron on her hip.